Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, as I said, Robin is in Utah. I've got another week here by myself till she gets back. Anyway, so I've been ordering stuff off eBay. As you see, another arrival. We got uh, about three inches of snow last night, so I didn't know if this was going to make it or not. Anyway, found it outside the door. So this is a Marks 994. And I got this on eBay for $12. All right, looks like no peanuts. You never know. Oh, oh here we go. All right. So, let's see, 12 bucks on eBay. It looks to be in fairly decent condition. I have no idea if it runs. All right, there's the locomotive. Oh, let's see, does it turn? Well, it turns. It's a standard single reduction motor. It's had some runtime. No big grooves in it. Well, as always, well, it has a pad. So on the uh, brush plate, on some of these, there's a pad. You really have to saturate it. These things get hard as rocks. And you'll think you're getting oil down to the armature, and you're really not. You really got to soak this thing with oil. Especially if it, this one's dry. I mean, this one is just absolutely dry. All right. And then one big drop of oil on the output shaft of the motor itself, right on the bearing. All right, let me pull the camera off the tripod and let's take a look at this. Get this tripod out of the way. So a March 994. Now the 994 is the biggest, the physically largest uh, locomotive that Mark's made. This is actually bigger than the 333. And it's nothing but a big empty housing, as you see, with a standard motor in it has a light bulb, as you see, it's in fairly decent condition. There's not a speck of real rust on it anywhere. So, it's not perfect, but it's in uh, fairly decent condition. The question is, of course, will it run? Power is on, let's see what happens. Runs backwards. Wow, look at this. Now, you tell me, was that worth $12? A bit sluggish in reverse. Buzzes in reverse, too. Let's see. Let's put this on a consist. Now, just because it's big doesn't give it any uh, real pulling advantage. Uh, it is only a single reduction motor, and this thing weighs nothing. So it looks big, but it actually isn't as far as power goes. Anyway, let's see what happens. Zoom, zoom. Getting some sparking on the wheels. Probably the first time this motor has run in probably 20, 30 years. Maybe longer than that. So, you tell me, was it worth $12? Look at this thing. I've done nothing to it but oil it. Nothing. And it doesn't like reverse, that's for sure. It's really buzzing in reverse. That's the unit itself making that noise. Anyway, as you see, it's up and running. So a bit of judicious tweaking, cleaning, and lubrication is going to be a really decent locomotive. So, as I said, it's far from perfect, but I've had lots worse for the, uh, the same amount of money. As you see, it's got some rust under the paint. In fact, there's a lot of rust. You can actually feel it. It feels almost gritty right there. Along the top, but there's no red rust. As you see, a lot of oxide, but no genuine rust. Not even on the push rods, as you see. 
Trying to get this camera to focus. There we go. Anyway, it was worth $12, no doubt. Really decent uh, motor in it. It runs well. It's noisy in reverse. No doubt. But we can address that. Anyway, I just want to do a uh, quick unboxing video. Like I said, Robin's going to be back on the 16th. So I've got some stuff coming that'll keep me busy in the meantime. So I just want to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.